testing should be performed as early as possible in the software development life cycle. This principle is known as shift lift. Shift lift testing is an approach to software and system testing that has become quite popular in recent years. There are lots of aspects to this principle, including technological ones and more nuanced ones that involve process improvement and human soft skills. The shift left approach can guide us in our technological choices. For example, it can help dictate how we write our automation tests. A common way that shift left takes place is by going heavy on easy things like unit tests, which are written as a part of our development workflow, and going easy on hard things like E2E -E tests. There are lots of factors for this, but a simple one is the fact that unit tests can be written earlier in the development cycle, whereas E2E -E tests by definition require you to have a full working system before you can test it. A big trend in modern enterprises is shifting the responsibility of creating the automation tests as early as possible. Very commonly, the responsibility is moved from traditional quality assurance engineers to developers that are building the features. Developers are encouraged to build the tests as they go, and the role of QA then becomes ensuring that the tests are present and they meet the quality standard established for the project. Another way that shift left testing comes into play is by taking an agile approach to delivery. Instead of a waterfall workflow where only large features are delivered, we can break our delivery into smaller chunks. This means that our QA can also be done iteratively on smaller tangible pieces of logic instead of having it all at once on a big bang release. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts on shift left in the comments below. For more tips and tricks, smash that like and subscribe and check out Boolean art.